Okay, this is getting quite beyond a joke, right? I just was scrolling on Twitter and I just seen this really quickly and I just wanted to rant about it. I watched the Avatar TV show a few years ago, my partner showed me it, and I remember it off of one of one of the characters that I actually really liked. And I know that it's on Netflix now for like a real a uh, real people one and everything. Not watched it right now, but I've been hearing quite mixed things about it and maybe it's something I'll watch at one point with my partner who knows anyway so I was just scrolling and I seen this and I keep seeing this person like pop up on my thing sometimes they say stuff that I just don't agree with and I will write something and other times I will agree with it it just really depends anyway so um they went and reposted this one random person saying I swear if they don't cast an actual blind person for Toph in season two I'm gonna lose it okay if you don't know in the show Avatar Toph is blind okay and this is the stupidity of nowadays like you have to literally to play a character in a fucking movie or a tv show you have to be that character it's like actors don't exist anymore and it's so dumb like I'm reading this and I'm just thinking are you for real are you kidding me right now so a person has to be to be this character, this person has to be blind in real life to play this character. No. We have actors in this world who have spent years of their life and so much of their money to get to where they're at with their talent that they have. Just because this person, if, this, if they did this, right, I think it's, it's quite beyond a joke, honest to God. If they did that, what what is why what i think if they did that it would actually be more like it would be really difficult to actually have a person who's blind on set it would make it so much more harder and i don't see the point i don't see how that's actually going to make it more authentic honestly we have makeup for that it, it, the way this is actually getting at is if like makeup doesn't exist anymore and props don't exist and all this amazing footage that we have uh, sorry like uh, movies and things like that so you've got like folk that are back in the day and it'd be like in the 80s or something like that right in the 90s oh we couldn't cast this dinosaur or anything like that because this dinosaur is not available well no because they're freaking extinct that's what we had the robots in jurassic park and then all um all the cannibals and stuff like that because that's what i actually wrote right i'll scroll down the now see this key so you can see i wrote many actors have played many characters well without being the actual character i.e being blind in real life anthony hopkins did amazing as hannibal lecter i think the movie set would have been quite awkward if they cast a real cannibal and i just put this little gif of eating a liver with some fava beans and a nice chicante but this is getting ridiculous why does the person in real life have to be blind to play a blind character why seriously why why do they have to actually be blind now i have watched a it was an old video right and i don't know when because it was in um, this other person that i watch um, quite a lot actually and it was they were talking about it's another youtuber and it's two of them actually they're a couple is bearing and sugar tits and she had a video up oh no sorry it was he had a video up i'm sure and it was <laughs> It was basically Scarlett Johansson was going to be playing a part, right? And I completely agreed with him in this video. Scarlett Johansson had a part in this film that was coming out and it was about this transgender guy and um, basically she wasn't allowed, to, she was going to be in this part and everything and then the trans people all had an uproar over it, okay? And then she at first said like, well look at Jared Leto and all these other people because Jared Leto was in a film and his name just went out my head I'll probably remember as I'm editing this he was in a movie Dallas Barge Club that's what it's called Dallas Barge Club he was in that and he was a trans woman or transitioning to be a woman I don't know I've not watched the film yet I want to I've got it but I've not watched it yet so he played a trans woman okay and there's many others that have done the same and but she was just getting all this flack and she backed out of the film but at the same time though if a director has chosen for her to play the film and play the actor and the this character sorry in the film then that's good right that means she's good for the part but there's many films though i will say that there i do not agree with being um 
uh, actor playing a part, but that's a whole different thing. But this is getting ridiculous. So in another sense as well, like wigs exist, okay? So say for instance there was somebody that was blonde and they were playing a part of something that had like dark hair. Right, and they were written for like a dark hair person. We can dye their hair. We can put a blonde wig, uh, sorry, a dark wig on the person with blonde hair. As far as I remember, in Harry Potter, in the movies, the twins didn't have uh, ginger hair. Fred and George, they had natural dark hair, so they dyed their hair for it. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like that. We have these things to actually, like, I, I, I feel actually this is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. And I just think it is quite unbelievable that people are actually thinking this. Like, this is why I don't go on Twitter, because I see things like this and I just get annoyed for the day. So, I just think it's so dumb. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. They don't have to cast an actual blind person to play a freaking role. It's a goddamn character. The character was blind, not the person in real life. Use contact lenses and study how people that are blind in real life and that's what that's what actors have done for so long that's why that we watch movies and we watch them to because they've went and studied and observed and understood and how that works i'm not an actor i'm not studied to be an actor um you know i've got like <laughs> i'm not blind obviously or anything like that but you have these biopics and stuff like that that people make and then they go and be this person so like an actor will play so and so whoever it is like that guy that played um, Freddy Krueger uh, Freddy Krueger uh, Freddy Mercury Freddy Mercury couldn't do it because he's dead right so does that mean that the guy that played him couldn't play him because it's not Freddy Mercury no because it's a biopic it's just him playing the ca the not character because obviously he's a real person but the character in the movie was played you know what I mean it, it's just so it's just like I'm, I'm I don't, even, I don't even know. It just, it's so dumb. Another thing I just want to say as well, okay, when I was talking about the biopic part, let's just say for example that somebody made a movie of me, okay? The, the real life me, okay? In real life, I have PCOS, okay? Now, and I am, um, was uh, somebody said to me like, okay, do you want somebody um, with PCOS to play you in a film? Right? Now, you think I would say, yeah, because then that person will understand. Technically, no, I wouldn't. No, no, I wouldn't. And I'll tell you why. Because is that person a good actor? Is that person an actor? And if they say no, they just have PCOS. Well, then no. I want somebody, that, if it's a film going to be about me, then I would want an actor to do that. Because they have the craft, they have the talent, they want to know. That's just like me. <laughs> That's just like me going to go and be in a film with no acting experience at all okay i wouldn't even be an extra because i wouldn't know what i'm doing or anything i'm just a random mass woman on this and ranting okay that doesn't make any sense just because i have a condition does not mean that i have the ability to and the talent to then be that whomever okay and that's the problem this is what i'm saying it's like if the person is an actor and they're also blind right but as they said here a blind 12 year old actress of chinese descent who can also speak english and do martial arts where are you going to find this person where are you going to actually find them and they actually somebody else even put in a scene down here sure they can just go to kung fu club and gouge at the eyes of a uh, first 12 year old you see ha 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 joke it's just like it is so unbelievable no one can fit that role. They're right. No one would fit that role. You can't get... Oh my god. I, I actually sometimes I feel like... I just want to honestly rant. I, I just... Oh my god. I just sometimes really feel like... It, it's... It's like shouting and ranting about obvious stuff. You know? That's what I feel like it's come to. It feels like... um. You're kind of pointing out the obvious, but yet you're still trying to figure out the maths. You're still trying to figure out, like, why this does not make any sense, even though it obviously makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, have a good day. I <laughs> hope you, like, you can understand it better than I. Put in the comments what you think. I think it's, it's what's going on nowadays is just so, so dumb with these kind of things. But anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye.